So there is a story which is very common in the inscriptions of Cambodia, Vietnam, uh, and so on, where later, much later the Angkor and Cham uh, empires rose. But the story goes somewhat like this, that there was a Indian Brahmin called Kondinya who was sailing past the coast of uh, what is now uh, southern Vietnam um, and uh, uh, southern Cambodia uh, in the Mekong uh, area. And he was, he was in the ship, he was sailing past with this bunch of traders and he was attacked by these pirates. And he, being a heroic chap, he fought off the, um, the uh, pirates and um, uh, drove them away. Unfortunately, what happened is that the ship was leaking as a result of this and he, had, he and his uh, crew had to uh, take it onto the shore in order to try and repair it. So when they were doing this, uh, the local tribe, which were the, the, they were the snake clan, uh, decided that they would attack them. So evidently they were surrounded and yet again Gordon India, being a brave lad, took out his sword and, uh, and was defending himself. When the princess of the snake clan saw him and fell in love, her name, there are many names according to different traditions, but one of the names that is often used is Soma. So Soma, the moon-faced one, saw him and fell in love and proposed marriage to him. And so Kondinyam, I suppose he didn't have too much of a choice, but um, he married her and started a dynasty um, which led ultimately to the foundation of these great, um, much, much later to the great Angkor and um, the Khmer civilization and of course the Cham civilization in southern Vietnam. What is fascinating about it also is that most of these lineages were matrilineal, not matriarchal, matrilineal, i.e. they trace their lineage through the female line, which is also reasonable because after all, Kondinya's uh, rise to, uh, ro claim to royalty was through his wife. And it's quite interesting, this kind of s continues to be remembered uh, through for the next thousand years plus, because you can clearly see that many of the kings come to power both in the Khmer and in the Chams through the female line. So this remains embedded. And this story then becomes the sort of the key myth on which much of Southeast Asian uh, culture is built. It is matrilineal but also the iconography of the uh, snake. So and you see that everywhere. So in northern uh, uh, um, Malaysia you have uh, a major uh, site uh, <coughs> called in the Bhujang Valley, in a place what was the kingdom of Kadaram. Now, think about this, it's called Bhujang Valley. Bhujang means snake, snake valley. And this term comes up everywhere. Later on, much, much later, when the Cholas would create ports to, to trade with Southeast Asia, what would their port be called? It would be called Nagapatnam. 